Welcome to Cobb County Title I Department's Professional Development for Building the Contributions of Parents and Families. Our purpose for meeting today is to begin the revision process of our school policy and we'll focus our time on the Activities Plan section. During our time together, we will consider parent input to design, revise, and implement family engagement activities that support your school's academic needs and goals. To begin, teachers and support staff may want to group themselves by grade level or content level teams to ensure a collaborative environment for discussion and have about five staff members per group. We value our teachers and support staff. Your insight serves as a bridge to address the needs of our at-risk learners and families. In part one of the family engagement focus, revising the family school compact, we address the first two components, how much engagement is needed to impact student achievement and what types of engagement impact student achievement. Today, we will add a third component, addressing the academic indicators. Title I is excited to introduce the Engage One Family Engagement Initiative. The goal of the initiative is to bring families and those who support families together to positively impact student achievement. By design, the Engage One initiative promotes consistency among our school campuses in areas of professional development and collaboration time, much like the session you are attending today. The initiative also encourages the academic prerogative of local school campuses to engage families by discovering the best way to support the unique needs of individual communities. One example of addressing the unique needs of the community through innovative practice is the branding and multimedia that you may have seen around the school for family engagement events like the Learning Launch posters and infomercials. Before we begin to re-energize our innovative family engagement practices, we have invited Manoj, the inventor of Five Hour Energy, to give us a look into the secret life of the term innovation. We hear it all the time, but what does it really mean? There are seven billion of us in the world today, and we're facing some huge problems. Talk doesn't help someone out of poverty. Awareness doesn't reduce pollution or grow food or heal the sick. That takes doing. The solutions are here. Great inventions that generate clean energy, that make fresh water, that improve our health. This is the story of what we've been doing. I'm Manoj Pargav, the founder of 5-Hour Energy. Have you seen this little bottle by the cash register? Five hours. That's a weird amount of time. But I can't drink any more than this. I don't have the energy. Top ten Rick Perry excuses. I had a five-hour energy drink six hours before the debate. Oh, no. Have this idea for this thing. Within two months, we had it on shelves. But it was growing bigger and bigger, and all of a sudden, it became one of the largest consumer products in the world. Five hour energy. Sales got up 12%. We have sold over a billion and a half. 90% of the market share. Just cracked the Forbes billionaire list. But I realized oh my God, we're making a lot of money here. What do I do with this? <laughs> I'll tell you how we work in our company. Somebody comes to me with a project or something needs to be done, and the first question I ask is, is it useful? How is it useful? Okay. And if it's not useful, it better be entertaining. And if it's not useful or entertaining, there's only one other basket left, and that's useless. Five hours is a lot of things for me because it's also the enabler that gives us an opportunity to do things that other people can't do. 
this was our first building, which is really more five-hour energy. And then uh, we bought this whole thing. Now we have 10 buildings and 25 acres. One of the buildings out of the 10 buildings is an invention shop, which is called Stage 2. My approach to things is, let's do stuff, invent stuff, make a difference in other people's lives. Stage 2 works in the area of water, power, health. Our goal is very simple, to deliver innovations which can directly impact humanity. And the only way to do that is to actually go fund it. Our view is, if you invent stuff that can be used long term, it's probably the most fundamental change you can make. We've put an infrastructure together so that great inventions help the poorer half of the world make their lives better. That's what we define as a great invention. That's the software change. Incredibly, it doesn't take enormous amounts of money. What it takes is just doing the right things and inventing the right things. My name is Billy Talley, and I run the engineering and operations here at Stage 2 Innovations. Manoj truly believes in giving back. One of his ways that he believes in giving back is coming up with innovations to help people. Stage 2 is filled with tinkerers, guys that... In like 5-Hour, Title I funds the Engage One initiative through the 1% district set aside divided up equally among our schools. This is our enabler to do things other schools can't do. Manoj has put together a small team and given them a charge to run fast to failure, learn from it, and create intentional, useful tools to support others. The vision is clear and concise. Everyone is working together on the same goal, to make the world a better place for those who don't have a voice or the resources to live their best life. Is that not what we as educators do each and every day? Many times we find ourselves doing things because they have always been done that way. But are we doing the most intelligent things, the right things? Are our plans simple and simple to execute? Our district's vision is clear and simple. One team, one goal, student success. And Title I echoes that vision through the Engage One initiative to empower families to engage one another. It is not only simple, but simple to execute. As a team, review the data provided alongside the school and district goals on the front of the school policy. Does the data provide any insight from the parents' and families' point of view that would support an academic area of need that your school may want to focus on for a single, or an ongoing family activity next year. Take five minutes to look through the data and goals. While tackling a seemingly impossible task, free, clean water for everyone, Mano speaks of innovation in terms like technology, invention, and execution. The reason we called it the RAIN Project basically mimics nature. It heats water, you have water vapor, and then you take that moisture into a different compartment and then you distill it. The steam or vapor turns into water. So it takes energy to heat the water and then the energy is released when you turn it back to water. So we take that energy and recycle it back to heating the water again. This little bitty machine here can do a thousand gallons an hour. Some of the great things about it compared to what the technology is today is one, it has no parts that go are consumables. No screens or no membranes that go bad. And it can be made to make distilled water or any level of clean water. Whereas current technology will only take seawater and turn it into drinking water, but it will not turn it into water that can be used for agriculture. It still has too much salt. We're able to take, you know, seawater, undrinkable, unusable for anything, and turn it into, into complete drinking water, literally in a, in a matter of minutes. And the beauty is, it's a very self-contained system. You don't need a lot of infrastructure to do it. If you move something in in a modular basis, you need the hoses to hook up for the water, a couple of tanks to collect the water. 
and electricity to run it. So it's very easy um, and, and modular system to be able to put in anywhere in the world. And when you're done, you have lovely, fresh, clean water. It's warm enough to make tea right now, but good, fresh, ready to go. Great. How is it? It's good. It's good distilled water. You know, it's it's uh, this this water right here is probably at a level um, almost a pharmaceutical grade water. Wow. And uh, that's one of the other beauties is we can raise or lower what you know how what the level we want to. But this is very 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 pure water right now. Whether you're rich or poor it doesn't matter if you don't have water, you have to move or die. That's going to happen across the world. We have to work on water. There's no choice. So in California, I mean, right now they're not looking at it. Nobody wants to say it. But if you don't get water, if you don't solve this problem, California becomes a desert. Now we're looking at it and saying, instead of one big desalination piece of equipment, you have a farm of these. It can either be put on the shore next to the ocean, or you create this barge which has lot of units on it. So a barge can maybe produce somewhere between 15 and 20 million gallons a day. And why, the question would be why, why on a barge? Well, the simple answer is that's where the water is. You know, so let's say you put it a couple miles offshore, you have this barge which has a short height because the equipment is underneath. And the reason it's underneath uh, is because the water will just flow into it. And so you don't have to pump water in. So it flows in, doesn't kill the wildlife. You can then pipe the fresh water either on floating pipes uh, to the land, or you can put it in tankers and, and bring it to land. So we're thinking of things like if you, if you had 100 or 200 barges, let's say in, off Southern California's coast, you could, all the shortfall of Southern California would be covered. And the advantage of that is that if people at that point say, well, you know, we don't like you being there. Then you say, okay, see ya, we'll go to the next place. So there's some, the answers have to be uh, lower in energy. Then it needs to be, be able to be made in massive scale. And then it also has to be, go past political issues. All of those are real problems. And so this project, what it does is say, okay, we, with this, if you have thousands of barges, throughout the world, we can address the, the needs of, you know, ridiculous amounts of people. And in the end, we're going to have to do that in order to, to, to take care of the seven, eight, nine billion people that are going to end up on earth. So, so that's, that's a project that's for us is a big deal. Technology is defined as a tool, but it doesn't do anything by itself. Invention is determined by what that technology actually does like the rainmaker but innovation that's where you get your biggest bang for the buck is something you are doing today that you didn't do yesterday but is now useful and it all works with execution innovation cannot happen without the right people executing the plan what is your school's biggest academic problem are the activities and the policy helping students and families to address those needs and how often will those activities occur, or should they need to occur? As a team, review the activities plan section of the school policy. Ask your teammates, do the activities listed support the top two priorities of the school or district? Take five to read through the activities plan. You don't have to answer out loud. Are you a rainmaker? Your team's Engage One project will work. It will work because it will be simple, and it will be simple to execute. Benefit. Wall Street fellows are so enamored of companies that spend 5% of their sales on research versus 3%. What, is this brains by the pound? You know, it, it, it's, it's not about the money. Good stuff doesn't come from money. And history tells us that, and we still chase it. Mobs of PhDs do not come up with great inventions. It's a couple of guys in a garage that have proven that that's not true. 
And it's usually a couple of people. Throughout history, it's only been a couple of people have come out with the greatest of stuff. And yet we insist that if we have a thousand PhDs instead of 500, we're going to do it better. It makes no sense. Our approach to philanthropy, there has to be meaning. I mean, the question for us was this. How can we make a sizable difference to alleviate human suffering? Who's got the technology for this? Who can make this happen? Manoj is driven by the fact that work is never done. What it shows is that a single person with a small team can actually affect close to 5 million people. So it doesn't take much to then go and say, how do I help the remaining 500 million? If you're doing really great things that have purpose, you feel great. And so we found a whole bunch of things that we can do ourselves that will make uh, a difference for, you know, for 100 years. Your students and families are that motivation. Couple that with direction, and yes, you have innovation. As a team, you will choose one task from the school policy activity handout to plan an educational activity based on the academic goals of the school or district. You may choose to create a new activity or re-energize an activity from the activities plan section of the school policy. You will work on this task for the remainder of your time together. You will have about 20 minutes. Here are a few takeaways. What are the next steps needed to present your Engage One project to your school admin or family engagement team? Set a date to review and update the school policy and family school compact with your team in May, sometime after the Title I survey results have returned. Congratulations, you truly have done an amazing job. We appreciate all that you do for student and family success. Thank you for taking the time to reflect and revise the activities plan section of the school policy. Remember, you are a rainmaker and we welcome you to the Engage One team. Thank you, Title I Department.